Oh my god. It's wiki porn on the Ritual Misery podcast. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast. This is the show where two lifelong friends talk about geek stuff and whatever else comes to mind. I'm Kent, and that guy doing probably illegal things to a Twinkie is Amos. What's up, man? Um, Twinkies are good. (laughs) (laughs) We're also joined by the one, the only, the wonderful Miss Jackie Hearn. What's up, Jackie? Sorry, not sorry. Oh my gosh. We had the the greatest time in the pre-show and the false start of the show. So <laughs> this is amazing. Amos uh Jotwan in the chat says, No 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 no. Use your tongue on the center hole. Ooh. Look, he can please his Twinkies however he wants. <laughs> I'd have my own method, all right? Oh my <clears throat> gosh. So besides molesting Twinkies, Amos, how have you been? I am in Kenai, here to watch my girls play some basketball games, which they've already done, which is why I'm back here podcasting with you guys. And I got to tell you, I can't wait to retire and be a house dad. It's like the best job ever. Right? I was that for like <laughs> three months, and it was the best thing ever. Mm-hmm. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm down. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for How it. long yep. do you have before retirement, if I ask? Um... Uh, approximately 15 minutes after my wife says it's okay. Ooh, okay, good. So. Yeah, I, I was counting out when I worked in go- when I worked in government and I was going to retire within the government. I, uh, I, I, uh, boy, I had that mapped out. I could tell you like how by the second. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that was May like 25th, last... 2019, right now. <laughs> okay. Oh my. Awesome. God, dude, that's eternity. I would die. You're fucking telling me. I would probably and, and die also, on And also, the other thing that is, that, is that, that I hated about working in an office is those office parties. Like, we, oh, I hated when they made you tell them your birthday, and then they had to, everyone had to go and stop what they're doing and eat cake. And like, I was always like in the middle of writing something or whatever, and I'm thinking, God, I've got a cake. <laughs> you know, so I hated to make people do it for me. But if it was a retirement party, I was all about that. I love retirement parties. Yeah. Yeah. Ken, how was your retirement party? My <laughs> retirement party was awesome. The whole, like, 15 minutes that I remember of it. <laughs> oh, wow. Congratulations. Uh, no, I, I had, like, two or three parties, I think. And the two that I remember were absolutely awesome. Uh, the one that I don't remember a whole lot of, there's actually a lost episode of ritual misery that that uh covers all of it <laughs> it's, it's not lost it's just well it, it's, it, not, it, uh, it's, it's not lost. public it's lost <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna stay lost for a while ahoy we can make that a, a patreon goal to unlock the Thank lost you. episode the episode mm. that kent doesn't want you to see <laughs> oh, man. um so uh so how about you kent I got a I got a jury summons this week. Uh, Justin Robert Young. Uh, no, <laughs> Justin wasn't he summoning me. It was yeah. the the uh, uh, the federal court. No, not the federal court. The the state court. No, what is it? Man, you need to get your shit in the sauce, some dude, court. Right? Some, was it? some local the local courthouse. I don't circuit know. court. Yes, I think it was the circuit court. I got I got summoned, and. I have about three thousand questions that I have to answer. Uh, one of the que- okay, one of the questions says, "Have you or anyone that you're close to ever been a victim of a crime? If so, explain here." God, that's everybody. Yeah, are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> who has never been a victim of a crime, and who has the room to fuck it? To- oh my God, I'm gonna. I'm going to have probably like a 45-page fa- attachment of like every time I can remember being just, a victim of a crime. J- just list the like, you know, uh, breaking and entering, statutory just, rape. All you have to do, just just <laughs> relegate it down to the most serious offense. Just tell them the story when you got, about when you got raped by Goofy at Disney World. 
That was Disneyland, actually. I mean, uh, what are you oh, talking about? Okay. I have no idea. What okay. You're watch uh, out! So... Watch out for Goofy. He's a disco <laughs> demolition. That's a real song. Oh my gosh! But uh, that's, dude, other than like, right. working like crazy, that's that's pretty much been my week. Uh, Jackie, what about what about you? Are you having a good week so far? Yeah, yeah. Um, I have been like just uh, consumed with puppets and, and doing animation stuff, so I could not be happier. Awesome. Um, and while I do that, I stream some videos. Um, I listen to podcasts, and I think the last time I was on your show, I talked about how I was a little worried about myself because I was getting addicted to these murder podcasts. Because <laughs> yeah. apparently, that's like a fucking thing now. Um, you, you guys, thanks, take... cereal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And and my favorite murder. Um, like that. That's the, like the number one podcast forever, and they got five million downloads or whatever. Um, and so now I started listening to these ones like on behavioral analysis. Like there's one called Real Crime Profiles. So I feel like I know everything about murderers and why <laughs> they do what they do. And um, it's it's really like. I'm so, kind of like, okay, Jackie, take a step back. Are you are you are you training? Is this like home study? <laughs> well, you know what? No, I just like, like I. Oh, like actually, Jackie, I, Jackie, Jackie, do you have a list somewhere in your house oh or God. or other area that you control with just random names written down in like multiple different like multiple different inks and maybe some pencil and Lipstick. maybe a couple are scratched off? Some like, do, does that exist? Well, I mean, I do cut out. Like different photos and magazines and newspapers, and I do okay, paste yeah, them. Yeah, and I'm, you know, sure when they remind I'm sure that's just scrapbooking. I'm sure that's just, just scrapbooking. <laughs> I'm sure that's just scrapbooking. <laughs> right. And I'm is sure it, that's is just. Is it scrapbooking when it's on the wall? It's like it's in my just, bathroom. Like, and this it, in the in the ink spilt, the red ink spilt on there. I'm sure. I'm sure that's all it is. I mean, sometimes I use an eraser and I erase eyeballs. And then she makes <laughs> then she makes a puppet with very realistic looking hair and teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no. Hon- honestly, if anything, it comes from like my fear of things going wrong because I, I, I have been a victim of, of things, and like I'm, I'm always like conscientious of like my surroundings and all that crap. So, like, yeah. if anything, it's just like feeding on my paranoia. So I'm like, I feel you like I need to know more. Too? <laughs> <laughs> Who has it? <laughs> you said we didn't have to die. <laughs> You're among friends, Jackie. We've all been there. <laughs> I just can't get clean again. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, gorsh. <laughs> no. Um. Uh, this but, show is uh, just taking a sudden turn. Hey. Well, um. <laughs> so what? What the hell are Wonder Woman stamps? What? What is this about? Oh. Um. Get us out from under Wonder Woman. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> No, I bought Wonder Woman stamps. I don't know. There was a geek thing I did this week. I, I needed stamps um, to mail off like my rent, uh, which is the only thing I ever mail out, really. And um, I got Wonder Woman stamps, and now I don't want to use them. I'm sorry. Um, but the other geeky thing I did, or at least I consider it geeky, is I bought, um, which is very popular these days, is dry shampoo. Have you heard of dry shampoo? I have, but uh, I don't understand no. how it works. It's a spray. You spray it in your hair when your hair's dirty, so you don't have to wash it, and it makes it clean. How? What? What? Is it like some biotech or something? It's these little critters that um, eat the dirt. I probably already have cancer, um, <laughs> but you know, I'm just I'm I'm, I'm all in. I'm all in, and. Uh, no, but the dry shampoo that I bought, like, okay, so I thought that was geeky because, like, you know, if you sit at a computer too long, you don't want to get up and take a shower. <laughs> so I thought that that fit in, but 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 what it what it, what it does is it like I just sprayed some in right before the show and it made my hair gray. So uh, no. yeah, I think we're just approaching all the all the uncomfortable subjects right off the top in this show. <laughs> so. <laughs> Why not? That's what I'm here for. Um, I um, uh, I produced IQMZ Sports on Monday, and 
I did that with uh, O Doctor, and man, that was that was a great time. That was so much fun. Just sitting behind the scenes, not actually being on the show, yeah. not as fun as being on the show, but way cool. Uh, and it's a sports show, so there's all kinds of stats and figures and everything else. So I, I, I was actively working the entire time, bringing up the stats, bringing up different things that they were talking about, so they could have more, uh, m- more, more to talk about. You know, more knowledge about the subject and everything else. Mm-hmm. And man, that was nice. a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Where, where, when, where can people find that? Oh, because well, I looked it up. I saw you put it in the doc, and I thought, oh, this is a new like sports online streaming service. <laughs> so I googled it, and I was like, oh, it's Oh Doctor. Yeah. Um, I don't know that my episode with them is posted yet. I I don't know. I have I've been since then. I've been kind of just rush, rush, rush. Um, but he does have previous episodes, and I'm sure that one will make it. And then I think the official kickoff of the show is supposed to be this coming Monday, right here on DiamondClub.tv. Oh, right on. Sweet. So, uh, how about you, Kent? What yeah, was your geeky thing man. for the week? So, I got to say this before I tell you that. I got to tell you this. In a, just a couple of hours. I'm going to be uh, – I thought I had a word for this. So right now I'm a father of a teenager and a little boy. But here in a few hours I'm going to be the father of two teenagers. Mm. No more little boys. Welcome to the club. Yeah. Uh, well, see, you still got little ones though. But they're boys, right? Yeah, both of mine yeah. are boys uh, and they're – they're, but yeah, so so Isaac is going to be thirteen tomorrow, and uh, mm-hmm. yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, but so that goes directly into my geeky thing of the week for his birthday. I, th- I thought you were just talking about the the awkward stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, like you said, we got to get the awkward stuff out first, and then move on. Uh, <laughs> <True>. <clears throat> but anyway, no for for the geeky thing that I did is he and I for his birthday. I wanted to get him a computer. He's been talking about, uh, you know, I mean, he's got an older computer, but he wants to have a gaming rig. He's talking about maybe Twitch streamer, streaming and stuff like that. And so he's kind of been Sweet. bugging me about it for a while, and I was like, eh, okay, I'll probably buy you a computer for your birthday. And then it hit me a little while ago that um, it'd be a lot more fun to build a computer. So I brought it up to him about a week ago, and he's like, Oh wait, are you serious? I was like, yeah. Is does that sound like something you'd want to do? He's like, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Let's awesome. So, so we've been picking out parts and and uh, we've got a pretty. Um, I think we've got a pretty decent build for not a lot of money. I think once we're all done, you know, by the OS and keyboard and all that crap, we'll, we'll probably be right around four fifty. So, I mean, it's wow. not, you know, this isn't a, a super high end deal, but part of what I want to do with him is show him that, you know, if you want this new game and your current, uh, you know, your RAM isn't enough or you, maybe your, your graphics card just can't quite push what you're trying to do with this new game, like, you know, how to piece by piece upgrade a system. Mm. You know, like, are, you, uh, are you using any service to check compatibility and stuff like that at all? Um, no, not really. Um, I'm starting with a, uh, a, a site that has a, it's called Extreme Game Nerd or something like that, where this guy, like, um, does, like, suggested builds and things like that. So I'm starting with that as, as the starting point, and then I'm tweaking from there, and then, I, you know, of course, you really got to check compatibility. Um, yeah. It's kind of a pain in the ass. And I've got a... Uh, I've got a QA, a, a, a computer dude that I work with. I'll send him, I'm like, hey, will this work with this? He's like, oh, yeah, 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 you should be fine. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> also, also check um, PC part picker, I think, something like that. Part pecker? Um, I've had... Not, pick, not, pick a not, part not, of pickle... Pick, a peck of pickle... Part... P- what, what did you say? parts. <laughs> yeah, see, Jokemon's got it in the chat room, pcpartpicker.com. 
Um, it'll it'll do a rudimentary. Well, I'd say rudimentary. It's actually pretty comprehensive uh, check of compatibility to make sure that your RAM is compatible with your Sweet. motherboard and all that stuff. Oh, awesome! And then of course there's links on there to buy the stuff, which you know affiliate links hmm. help provide money for the site. <laughs> Yeah, no, so, that's, that um, is awesome. Yeah, that, that's I, I. I retroactively did my did the beast that I built for streaming in there. So if you look up Ethan Kane, you might be able to find it. I'm not sure, but <laughs> um, okay. But it's it's in there, and uh, it's it, it, of course everything was like yeah, it's compatible, which of course I already knew because I spent two months doing it. <laughs> right. Awesome. Uh, I love this because um, I'm actually looking into building a PC from the ground up myself however i do have a man to help me so don't worry <laughs> are you are you saying that you need a man to help you build a computer oh, i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm joking no but i mean i do have a, a dude who you know like um my on again off again ex or fia- or my on again off again fiance which really describes me very well <laughs> um and no but uh we were gonna like help me like kind of build a PC. He's done it many you, times, so you um, uh you, you wanna get married? Uh well how about we just get engaged well, and, it's on again, and off get engaged again. again and then we get engaged and break this, up and then get engaged and break oh, up. How about, I don't, how about we I don't, how, I don't even how, what, tell you how many years I don't even tell you how many decades this has been going on. How how about break gauged? Break gauged? What? what is that? Yeah. It's a it's a breakup engagement. It's break gauged. Um, Just make a little bit. Well, right now we're on a next Netflix and chill phase. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> Taking it slow on the 40th time around. Got it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear God. <sighs> hey, Jackie. Well, that was all fun. <laughs> hey, Jackie. Yeah. Do you know what time it is? Um. Or what it's time for? Hammer time? Close. Ten times. T- Ten times. Okay, Kent, have you ever played um, Jack? No, no, you don't know Jack? Yes. Yes. Okay, or- originally back in like the mid 90s, it was a web based game, and okay. it always had like these little things when it would say, guess what it's time for? It, was, uh, it's, it would say, Ness But Tit Slime Chore. <gasps> Oh my and god, it's the rhyme. Since th- then, yeah. that's oh. all I've ever said. Whenever instead of saying guess what it's time for, it's always nest but tit slime chore. <laughs> I say hammer Holy time. Holy crap. That <sighs> you're bringing Oh my god, that is old school. That is great. So Jackie, uh Jim Fallon? Oh, okay. So yeah. So to scare you guys even more about me because I keep talking about murder. Yes. And this whole behavioral analysis stuff that I kind of got into. There's this dude, Jim Fallon, who is a neuroscience uh, uh, professor at some university, whatever. Anyways, he um, he he maps the brain to find certain people who um, are either prone to be or are sociopaths or psychopaths um, uh, and psychopath behaviors, and particularly um, those who might become. Uh, rageful psychopaths that that are become a serial killers, mm-hmm. and the, the, as this guy was doing this story, apparently it's definitely something that's inherited, and it's inherited from your mother. <laughs> Imagine that right. his no mother is yeah, everybody's oh, mother's okay. crazy. Go, yeah. Oh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, oh, I, you know, oh God, she, I, my, no, my mom's not watching. <laughs> uh, uh, we we we've decided in the last several days with all these teams down here in Kenai because you got three basketball teams for each gender. All of them travel down here together. Mm-hmm. The boys are stupid and girls are crazy. That, that's that's it. I mean, that's kind that's of it. standard. Yeah, and, and it doesn't stop. Like it just gets worse as it gets as it goes on. Boys get stupider well, and okay, girls get but, crazier. Well, the thing is, is most of the, but 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 it's more likely for a male to become a um, psychopath killer. That's why there are more men, or at least known male uh, serial killers, mm. because they um, they they're getting they're getting that X chromosome both from their mother and their father. So like that, it, it and and also apparently has to do with serotonin, and so women don't. Don't do ecstasy when you're pregnant, because then, <laughs> oh my god, 
because <laughs> then your children are going to grow up to be Ted Bundy. Anyways, but but it's also kind of interesting that like you you so you inherit this gene, right? And it also there there are other factors that apparently um, tie into it, and one of them is that, is that you have to go through some sort of major trauma in an early age before um, you reach puberty. So um, a lot of cases, uh, serial killers have been babies that have been dropped on their head um, that have that gene. Yeah. And, um, and then they, they develop problems later on. They become serial killers. Um, Ted Bundy apparently had head damage. Um, uh, anyway, so it was just really interesting. But it was really interesting about this, this TED Talk is the guy, this guy, Jim Fallon, he found out he was studying his family and the brain scans, and he found one of them was 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 definitely um, uh, had that had that gene was definitely in line to be a, a psychopath. And he came, he 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 wasn't supposed to find out the results, but he went in and did it, and he found out it was him. What? <laughs> that he's a psychopath, and oh. yet he's a guy studying this. So it almost wow. kind of makes perfect sense. He so, just so, didn't have he didn't have that trauma. That is, is that when you on. yeah is, is that when you write your mom a letter just saying hey mom thanks for not dropping <laughs> me on my head right oh in, interesting to know his it, he didn't realize this until his mother pointed out because if you go back in his family tree along his mother's side he's related to Lizzie Borden um the girl who cut off or cut it, or killed her, her parents with an axe yeah 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 not proven and, by the way. Uh, okay. Anyway, so so anyway, so it's interesting to hear that it has to it, like some of this is already preset, and the reason that I say this is because like and why I got interested is because I I I actually realized that I know somebody who's like this, or or used to know someone who's like this now, and uh, luckily they're now in China. <laughs> and, um, I don't know what they're so, doing well, over there my, now. My, but, my anyway, question so, is so I kind of. Picked Anyways, my question is: Is it too late for me? Since I didn't have this trauma, can I not become a serial killer now? I don't I have the right so. genes. I think it, Mo or, or more importantly, more importantly, if you find out that you have the trauma, can you retroactively, or if you find out you have the gene, can you retroactively create the trauma? Because, like, I could use a little more excitement in my life, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? You know what might cause the trauma, uh, Kent. Is if you don't get enough sleep. That's a very good point, Jackie. Which directly that's not supports something you need to tell Ken about. He's make sure he gets enough sleep. No, that's <laughs> false. Uh, but <laughs> which is Sorry. why I watched Ariana I to... Ariana Huffington's talk called "How to Succeed: Get More Sleep." It seems incredibly obvious, and it is Duh. very obvious. <laughs> it, it's just a, a really short talk of her yeah, no. talking about. It was great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In in the th what was the line that got me? She said, um, "Ladies, if you want," because she was speaking at a a TED Women uh, convention or whatever it's called, symposium, whatever they're called, and uh, she's like, "Ladies, if if you want to, uh, you know, get better pay, get better promotions, whatever, uh, you'll be more productive if you get more sleep." So instead of getting four hours of sleep, try to get like five, six, maybe seven hours of sleep a night. And you can literally sleep your way to the top. <laughs> I lost That's it. That's how you snorted. It was God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> it was pretty good. Um, I don't know. Ari Ariana, Huff Ariana, Ariana, whatever her name is. Yeah. Miss Huffington, mm -hmm. is, she's an entertaining she's awesome. speaker. Yeah. yeah, she's great. Uh, if for no other reason, just just watch it for for her sense of humor. It's good stuff. Amos, do you get enough? Sleep? I be, being that I'm I'm on the road this week. I for 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 went. I think that's proper. I for went watching for a TED talk, and instead looked at some of the playlists, and I ran across the twenty most popular TED talks of all time. Mm -hmm. This is a genuine playlist on the TED website. And the problem with it is, right off the bat, I noticed that there's 25 talks in the top 20. <laughs> I didn't notice. I went and looked through them, and I watched a few. Yeah. I started with um, what you need to, what you, ten things you don't know about orgasms. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I mean, I've already seen that one, so yeah, no point. I, I think that was um, one of the early ones that I reviewed, actually. Yeah, and uh, so so a few a few things I noticed about it, and and I just I think it's indicative of all of Ted, at least the really good ones. Um, creative creativity, self image, leadership, taboo, productivity, and tech were the main mm. topics for each of them. Mm. Um, self image had had eight. Leadership had four, productivity had seven, and I, I just that's pretty much what you're looking at when you're when you watch TED. Those those are the yeah. subjects that they really really go into, mm-hmm. and uh, I've, I've thought more tech would be actually higher on the list, but there's only yeah. two of them that were really distinctly related to tech. But I thought it was great, and if you were looking to, to get into TEDs, if you've never watched a TED talk or you have kind of watched maybe one or two, and you really want to see what they're actually about. Hit this list. We'll have a link in the show notes. Um, cruise on down this list and just watch those 25 top 20, and you'll be good to go. You'll know exactly what you're getting into. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we like Ted because we review Ted pretty, pretty much every week. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, seriously, it's it's probably fun to listen to us talk about them. But if you haven't watched some of yourself, like, seriously, there's a – there's probably at least one talk on whatever subject that you're looking for. It might not be and named I, exactly I, that thing, but there will be something pretty damn close to what you're looking for. I, I think one of the great elements of it is that it 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 it, it kind of chime or, or uh, comes into what you know how how I think a lot of people really feel that uh, they they people either love self help stuff or they hate it. And this is the kind of self-help that most of us can stand because it's only a few minutes and it's somebody who really understands whatever it is they're talking about. So like a lot of these, the, the ones I love the most are the ones that, you know, how to be more creative, how to, be, you know, all the self-image stuff. So I like your little breakdown, Amos, that you you identified these because it's productivity, you know, all this stuff like that's that's kind of what we're coming here for. But you're right. Where's the tech, yo? Yeah, and that that's crazy because there's some of my favorite TED talks are tech related. Like every time mm. there's a talk about like self driving cars or uh, you know, quantum computing stuff like that. Like I watch those, and those are some of my favorites. But I feel like tech is way under represented on this list. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and just so we're clear, I'm putting a call out there. If anybody has an inside line, I'm trying to get Chris Anderson, the head of TED, onto the podcast. I've sent him a message on Twitter. I've emailed him. I want to get uh, Chris Anderson, this guy right here. <laughs> I want to get him on the show. So if you have a Twitter account, if you don't, make one. Tweet at him, at Ted Chris, T-E-D-C-H-R-I-S. At Ted Chris, and tell him how awesome it would be for him to come on and discuss his favorite TED talks. Yes. Tell oh, him. very quickly. Yes. Uh, as I was going through uh, that list, uh, one of them was uh, titled uh, "Brain Magic," and I read it as Brian Magic, and I was like, "Oh, Brian! Wait!" <laughs> I was like, "I'm sure if Brian was on, I would know about it." But you know, right. you know sorry. Oh man. Yeah. But yeah. That'd tweet, be awesome. tweet that to, to, te- to uh, what, what was his name? One more time. Yeah. At, At Ted Chris, T E D C H R I S. Yes. And be sure you tell him he needs to go on at Ritual Misery podcast. At yeah. Co- Misery. Copy sure you in you, on the tweet. Yeah. Yeah. At so. us as well. Um, no, that would be that would be phenomenal. I would love to have that him would on be. as a guest. Okay, now on to the really important stuff of the hour. Yeah, Jackie, you are into yes. puppets, and we like your puppets. When, we- when, oh, when, oh, when are you finally going to dedicate some time to do puppet shows and do animated videos? When are you going to just slow wait, down wait, on the podcasting wait, wait, Kent, and do Kent, the puppet she's, things? She's the already. Things- She's already gone over this, man. What? She can't dedicate a whole lot of time to the puppets until she has a way to help supplement some of the supplies and the time that she puts into it. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know when you're going to get this through your head, dude. You yeah. keep asking her. So, but she needs so what she's you're just saying, a little scratch, just a little help. Just so a what little help. Gear? Where help do I get the gear? So, Amos, what like you're that's... saying is that there's no way that this is ever going to happen for her because 
I mean, it would, it would it would take a miracle. Right, it would really right, take a right. miracle. Jackie, what I mean, is this something that it's, you it's think expensive. maybe expensive? It's expensive. I mean, you know, like I have to buy exacto knives. I'm buying like 15 million paint brushes. Um, you know, I've got my desk brushes. I got my other brushes. I got my boards. I got so, my you know. So Jackie, yeah, is this, it's, is this it's just, a dead it's dream? Too much. Just a dead dream for you? Like it's just not going to happen? Hey. Hey, I got an idea. There's got to be a better way. I, I have an idea. I have an idea. We, Kent, you and I started a Patreon account. Patreon or Patreon. I'm not sure how you say it. Pretty sure. Patreon. Patreon. I think the thing is Patreon. Um, we started Patronizing. a Patreon. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, Pat, exactly. Pat um, Rayon. Uh, I think it's Pat Rayon. I think it's the guy's Pat name. Pat Rayon? Pat Rayon. Oh, okay. okay, fair Dot enough. Com. Well, Pat Rayon has helped us buy equipment and make sure that we keep the show live and something else and independent, whatever, live, loud and independent, whatever Brian says. We've <laughs> right. done that. Um, maybe maybe Jackie should try a Pat Rayon account. Oh, yeah. Jackie, do you know Pat Rayon? Ask him for money. Um, I think I, think I dated him in college. <laughs> oh, that would, be, that would explain. That would explain a few things. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it should it like should explain one person in college. I it should explain why she has enough money to to buy her supplies. <laughs> so if if you haven't caught on by now, we are alluding to the fact that Jackie Hearn finally 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 kicked off a Patreon Aww, account so that she could get a little bit of extra scratch, do her puppets and and yeah. dedicate some actual time to them and not have to just, you know, fumble around with making what best she can. Now she's actually got a little support. And Kent, where is it at right now? Patreon.com slash Jackie Hearn. You are what how how close are you to achieving your first goal? I I I did that last week. You did that already. Wait, when within, did you start within, the, within when did you start, a day and a half. That's what I was gonna say. When did you start this Patreon? Like six months ago? Like holy oh, no, cow. No Wednesday. And then by Thursday you yeah, by Thursday, goal? Friday, Friday morning, I think it was. Yeah, that is insane. I, I was over so overwhelmed, but I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm, but I'm not reaching very far. Keep that in mind, and um, I, I'm actually ten dollars shy of my second goal. Um, but you know, to me, I, I want the one thing I want to make clear about my Patreon. So thank you guys so much for that nice little plug. That was so sweet, and and last week too. Like, uh, I'm forever your girl Friday. Um, <laughs> Uh, but, but uh, with the, the thing about my Patreon is that I don't plan for this to last forever. This is not going to be something where I'm going to be asking you for a year or two years, uh, to donate money to me every month. And honestly, if you have a Patreon and you donate to mine, I will donate it right back to you. Um, not because I'm, I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm throwing my money away. It's because I want to, I want to be able to have the push to be able to force myself to get these videos out week by week because I have a larger goal, which is to connect with a couple of animation studios that I've been talking to on the side and have a huge catalog of things. So the, if you donate a buck or 50 cents or five cents, um, it's just going to help show that I'm capable of doing this um, on a professional level, mm -hmm. which I haven't been able to do before. Um, probably because I podcast too much. Probably because I talk too much. <laughs> Anyways, um, so that that that's my point is that I want to do that. This is going to be a temporary goal. And if you look at my goals, I get to a point. If I reach that far, then I stop and I start reaching out to other people, particularly Diamond Club, who do CGI um, or um, you know create graphics or or other kinds of animation illustration uh and maybe we could put together a little short film that we can all share as a reel and we can all put that out for ourselves to mm. maybe reach to something else so i it, it, i i that was that that's the only thing i i wanted to start this patreon back in 2014 but i held off because i want to do this right i want this to become something that builds very quickly to something else and if i fail then i won't bother you guys ever again um but but that's my point of the patreon so thank you for letting me to uh, giving me the ability to express that so she's she's currently sitting at 12 patrons and getting 33 dollars per month mm -hmm. now that is um that's more patrons than when we have 
and and no and, and, way. And, and, and it's more per month than what we have. And I'm no, going to tell no, you this right now, Jackie. No, I'm you're, no you, that's per episode. You are per I'm, episode. I'm telling you right now, Jackie, it's well earned. Because you've been doing this for a long time, and it's about time you got a little bit that. back to help get it done. Yeah. I appreciate that. but um. yep. So help Jackie reach her second goal. Go to patreon.com slash Jackie Hearn. Give a buck, and uh, you won't regret it. But... Um, this wouldn't be possible if you got if there were people like you guys who just support the shit out of everybody in Diamond Club. So everyone go to patreon.com slash ritual misery. Throw in a couple dollars or a dollar or uh, don't you guys have some kind of trick to your Patreon? Because, you know, people need to just make sure that they are supporting this and and, and um, we, uh... otherwise we wouldn't have platforms. We have exclusive Twinkie eating videos on our Patreon. <laughs> we do now for sure. Twinkie love. Oh my god! Oh, somebody please submit that as a, a show title. Twinkie uh. love. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you guys so much. But no, seriously. And I asked you guys. I begged you guys to be on the show this week because I was releasing this now. And um, but because you guys are, you've really become the platform for Diamond Club for people to really communicate and speak out. And I think that the New Year's Eve uh, celebration was a perfect example of that. So I want to thank you guys, um, too. That's, that's so funny. You know, uh, okay. So pat I want to pat, pat your back. Uh, no, I, I, I want to <laughs> touch on this. I want to touch on this because uh, a while ago, one of our mentors, um, who shall not be named, told us, Find a way to get beyond Diamond Club. Move out of Diamond Club. Don't don't run mm-hmm. away from Diamond Club, but find a way to express yourselves outside of Diamond Club. Right. And and Kent and I were like, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, of course. You know, we want to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. And what we've done instead is embrace Diamond Club more and more fully. And it amazes me that we have people like like uh, you know the the royalty, the top three. Right, Justin Robert Young, Brian uh, Brushwood, and, and and Tom Merritt posting out there, you know, even just offhanded saying, "Yeah, di- uh, Ritual Misery, that's Diamond Club," you know, um, blows me away, and it makes me so very proud of this stupid little show we do every week. And you know what? It, like, it, it's it's going to be something that people are going to realize. Let let's give this five years, and the people that you have on your shows, and the stuff that they want to do. Um, Okay, for me, my puppet stuff, that's probably not going to happen. That's probably a pipe dream. But there's all kinds of people that you have on that are doing creative stuff and doing their own things. And it only, you know, uh, I, I think I remember hearing Brian and Justin wondering how they could grow, how we can cre- increase the Diamond Club community. And the way we can do that is to allow people like yourselves and other people to do more creative stuff and expand. And get, you know, um, get the, it's just, it's, it's, when someone else in this community succeeds, it only helps the rest of us. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know? Yep. Um, and anyways, sorry. <laughs> Speaking of success, I got to tell you that uh, Jackie's friend and mine, Molly Wood, from years ago on BOL, she's now got a new podcast out, uh, still with Marketplace, but it's called Make Me Smart. It's her and this guy named Kai, and I don't know any, I don't know squat about him except she's got a great radio voice. And they're doing this podcast about just whatever topics get emailed in. And it reminds me of the discussion section of BOL because it wasn't always tech when they would talk about on BOL, but it was political or is scientific, but it related to tech in sometimes really obscure ways. Which was Tom usually bringing it back to Tom Merritt bringing it back into the uh, the the tech fold, but Molly is such an expressive person and she knows how to get to the point of the matter and bring it down to a level where stupid people like me can understand it, <laughs> and walk away with a smile and laugh because she's hilarious. So I want everybody to go out and check out Make Me Smart with Molly Wood and Kai. I can't remember his last name, but it's <sighs> great. It, it, they just released the first episode. There's like five. Uh, Pre first episodes and they're all great. It's amazing. Uh, I hadn't heard about this. Oh yeah, go and make that happen. It's a well, it's you, a great show. And I know you you guys have Jenny Josephson on next week. Uh, thanks for bearing lead. But yes, Jenny Jos- <laughs> Josephson, who actually <laughs> produces "Make Me Smart," 
Oh, uh, okay. Because I was going to say on, they're pals. They're, yeah, yeah. It, it's going to be on our show next week. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. So yeah. you'll probably hear more about that when she's on. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm planning to. That's going to be one of, my, one of my major questions yeah, I'm going to def- ask her. Definitely asking about that. Awesome. Uh, so, Jackie, you've, you've been watching the show. Uh, you, you know about the, the segment Hot Takes. You've heard of this? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, I'm going to give you a topic. You're going to talk for 10 seconds. And yes, Jackie, you are required to limit yourself to 10 seconds per topic. Fuck you. <laughs> so you start talking, and then when you hear this sound, could you hear that? Yes. Okay. When you hear that sound, you stop talking. I give you the next topic, and you, and you go for 10 more seconds. And we'll do that for right about a minute, and then... What's happening? Okay. Right <laughs> she's, she's, she's got theme music to pump her up in the background. She's got her own jack jams over there. <laughs> this reminds me. So somebody was going to help me make a, um, a an intro, like a, a stinger bumper thing for this. Song. No, I just have one for each question. So go. Okay. Perfect. All right. <laughs> God damn. All this right, is Jackie. what you get when you get someone who watches your show. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of Crunchy hitting us with the anyway. Yeah, oh, that was great. <laughs> I love that. I was <laughs> so good. All right, all right, Jackie. Shoot, puppets. Am I right? Puppets. Are we all puppets? Um, puppets. Wow, you threw me a curveball there. Um, <laughs> yeah, something that you don't know anything about apparently. Puppet puppets are sad. Puppets are sad. They're controlled, like we all are. Hurricanes. Hurricanes, am I right? Oh, don't talk to me about hurricanes. I drove once drove through a hurricane and it hit me three times and I almost died. And yes, done. <laughs> oh god, I suck. Christy Cates, am I right? Christy oh, see now I want to try to sing, but I won't do her justice. But she's amazing. Yeah, Christy Cates, man. Monday Music News on uh, right before Core Killers every Monday. Check it out. Broken cell phones, am I right? Broken cell phones? Oh, God. Where is my cell phone? Shit. Okay, well, here's my first one that's broken. <laughs> um, I've got another one. I broke my Andro- my phone recently. Uh, Bryce tweeted out my, my uh, Patreon, and I went, Bryce! And I dropped my phone onto the ground, and it broke. No shit. The Ritual Misery Podcast, am I right? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com slash Ritual Misery. Go support these dudes. They're great. Um, let me turn up my music. Oh my gosh. Shit. Thank, thanks I'm for just... playing along with that, Jackie. <laughs> I still haven't decided if I like this segment or not. <laughs> it's, like, it's like 60 seconds of disaster every time. Was it done? Are we done? We're done. <laughs> oh, God. Thank God. Yeah, no. I. Sorry, guys. I failed. That was horrible. <laughs> you threw me off at the puppets. No, Because I was Jackie, like, I gotta were... have to. I gotta. You know, immediately I was like, I have to come up with something very clever. <laughs> and I was like, puppets. Yeah, I know. The one subject that you might know something <laughs> about. You're like, oh, shit. What the hell? Those were easy ones, too. Like, you could have come up with. Oh, I was I was actually hoping for more hunger. challenging things, but yeah. Anyways, I appreciate that, <laughs> uh, and I didn't say that because then when you have me on six months from now, uh, don't give me harder ones. <laughs> if we're still doing that segment, <laughs> God, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but the, but that was awesome. <clears throat> um. So I, I looked. I'm looking at the show notes here, and not only did you mention Mary Tyler Moore. Hmm. <sighs> Yes. Yeah. Um. So. It was a week for women. I thought it was kind of uh, weird. Yeah. Um. However, I mean that's that's awful. Well, we can okay. we can skip that whole first part if you want. For for those that don't know, know, I do want to say I did actually sign a, an executive order declaring pizza to be awesome. Uh. Yeah. I I think I co-signed that one. That's um. Okay. Good. Definitely. Um. I, I, I thought it was already done. I thought that was like a, order, a long time ago. However, uh, Betty White just turned 95. Yes. 
And she was on Mary Tyler Moore. See? See the tie in there? Yes. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. For those, I mean, I'm sure everybody knows by now. Betty but for White is archival, never going. For archival yeah. purposes or whatever, uh, Mary Tyler Moore passed away earlier this week. She yeah. was, uh, uh, what, 80? 80. 80. Was it 80? 80. Yeah. 80. 80. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah uh, and, and the sad thing about her was that, like, a lot of women at that time, uh, maybe, I guess, my mother's age or whatever, or, or a little older, um, they, um, th- it, it, was, it was this independent woman who went to Minneapolis and started a career. Um, and so it was, like, the first kind of, like, sort of TV show to show women, like, that you could go out on your own, live by yourself in your single apartment and you know, take a job and excel at it. Um, so it's it's kind of like she's kind of an icon for that, and it, it, it's 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 very sad. I, I don't know, but yeah, she's um, definitely definitely iconic. Uh, she was a, a pioneer in television. She was a pioneer for women for showing that women don't just have to be the uh, you know the little housewife making dinner for. The Mister when he comes home from yeah. the office job. Yeah, I mean, and even when she was on the Dick Van Dyke show, um, her character was a, the the husband. I mean, the wife of, and mm-hmm. uh, but still, she, she, you know, they they confronted um, issues about uh, race and um, and and all kinds of yeah, things that absolutely. like, and I, I don't know, but it was it was show. such a yeah. smooth way to kind of bring people into the fold of progression and thinking about, you know, stuff. So, anyways. So, Amos Jopemon in the chat says, screw getting the Ted guy at RP. Go for Betty White. Betty White. How amazing would that be? Uh, Betty White is Betty White. Like, she's she's a, a, a female deity on the earth. That's that's all I got to say about she, that. Dude, if, I would do If anyone has any doubts about her. the influence that Betty White <laughs> has had, then you should just smack yourself, flog yourself, Flog yourself, and then just look up Betty White on IMDb, and just go throughout her film history, and her TV history, and her her modeling, and and, and everything else history. Like this woman, yeah. you know, she's ninety five years old. She she's still, still looks hot. Fun. She's beautiful. She's yeah, amazing. Know. She's you know? funny. She's smart. She's, she's just funny fantastic. as crap. She's doing and, and comedy now. She's look, still doing look, shows. Just go go find a picture of her in her in her twenties, and tell me that you. Wouldn't like it's, it's she's insane. <laughs> so she's God. a G G M I L F great a great grandma. grandma. I'd like to flog, <laughs> yeah, flog. Oh. Yes, yes, flog is definitely the uh, um, and she's awesome. If it's just uh, just made the title suggestion, I'd bang Betty White. Oh, good God, <laughs> oh, Fitz. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, Fitz. That's my um, new co-host on uh, Walking Drunks, by the way. Oh, if that awesome. ever comes back. Um, nice. Speaking we'll of things, uh, Lawyer Up, the show about Better oh. Call Saul. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you know, so I'm I'm really excited that Better Call Saul doesn't come back until April 10th, and I also do House of Cards with Roberto, and that doesn't come back until May. So I've got all these months of not doing podcasts, and I'm just like I'm swimming. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, um, but, yeah, <laughs> in no, Patreon so Aaron money, Paul, Aaron Paul, apparently, uh, he kind of, I, I knew it, I knew it all along because there was all these, um, you know, cause I follow every little detail of, uh, lawyer up or better call Saul. And, um, Aaron Paul has been in the studio many, many times this last, uh, while they were shooting and it was just too obvious. And a few things were slipped to the public about him talking about his wardrobe, other things and apparently he was on Ellen this week and on Ellen she asked him and he said something like well I would love to be on maybe I was already on maybe we already just shot it maybe we already just finished shooting <laughs> um, so <laughs> he's definitely on We I, and, and I, I think this is a no brainer also uh, Brian Cranston um, is direct is definitely directing an episode of Better Call Saul which means he's probably in it and, you know, people are concerned um, about Aaron Paul like and Brian Cranston, whether they're going to be in the background or or how they're going to work that in. Um, but I, I, I definitely, knowing the show and know, understanding Better Call Saul, it's not just a prequel. It is also concurrent with the show, and it's also a sequel. 
So it's very easy for them to do a flash forward to the time of Breaking Bad and throw something in we didn't see before. And that would be important to kind of show us a little bit more about the connection between Mike and Gus and and um, Saul, because we know Gus is back too. So, mm. anyways, I'm just really excited! Yeah. Yay! That's fantastic! It's it's finally time for me to dive into Better Call Saul. It's time. Oh, I you have haven't to. done it yet. I haven't. Oh. Yeah, I I love Breaking Bad. That is one of the greatest television shows. It is ever. time. It is time. I need. Yep, yeah, it's time. Because <sighs> with all of, so, all so I, I have to back, ask because this I, just I, came up in conversation not too long ago. Sons of Anarchy versus Breaking Bad. Which one's better? Uh, Breaking Bad easily. Easily. Ah, uh, see, I'm I'm in the although, minority here. I although think Sons I, was... I, I I I can't I can't really answer. I've only watched um a handful of episodes of um Sons Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, the Sons. Yeah, now don't Sons get me wrong, Anarchy. Amos. I I love Sons of Anarchy. I think it's a great show. Well, I don't know if it's a great show, but it's a fucking hell of a fun show to watch. It's great. Mm. But I'm I'm sorry. Like Breaking Bad is just art. It is a fucking masterpiece. I, I, maybe it depends on what you went into it looking for, but I, I Sons takes a very, very slight edge with me just because I like the ending better. I mean, that's literally the only deciding factor between oh, the two. Interesting. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was uh, all right. <laughs> now, now I want to rush and watch the ending of uh, Anarchy. Um, but um, <laughs> I uh, but but the but the last season, season five of, Be- of Breaking Bad. Was probably one of the most amazing things to ever appear on television. Uh, I I feel uh, every moment of it was great. I mean, some of the other seasons, the first season, the second season, eh, you know, um, it gets it got to a point. It, it it wasn't until that that final fourth and fifth season that was just. Um, Can I tell you my favorite scenes in Breaking Bad? Because I I've watched these occasionally on YouTube just to relive them. I love these scenes. Should we should should we get Bryce to put a spoilering tag? <laughs> well, they're not. I don't know that they're really spoilers because it's not like okay. the, the very end. The, Go for so it. The first one is when when Walt finally cracks when he's looking for the money under the house. Oh yes, Skyler starts laughing to, in that wind, that pain. Oh my god! With the phone ringing and all the shit, and you can hear him laughing in the background, and then he's just and his wife says, "I gave the money to Ted." The man she slept with. Yeah. Oh my god. Like that. That is the most tense fucking scene in television history. See, it's insane. all those little dynamics about those relationships and how uh, he started out wanting to protect his family, and then it became something else. Yes. And then it was which like leads to my second favorite thing, which was when Skyler was like. Like, Walt, you have to go to the police. We have to get the police involved. I know it's going to suck to go to jail, but at least you'll still be alive. And, you know, what if somebody comes to the door to try to kill you? And he does his whole speech of, you think, you think I'm in danger, Skylar? I, I am, am the danger. Yeah. And then he, she's mm. like, um, you know, but somebody. I am the one who knocks. Yes, exactly. <laughs> He's like, you think mm-hmm. somebody's going to knock on the door and do something to me? I am the one who knocks. Oh yeah. my god, I love that so much. Oh, there's so there's so many great things. Um uh, yeah, without spoiling my, my, it. My my favorite show is the very last episode of season 3, I believe. And that is the the wheelchair when he's sitting there dinging the wheelchair ding 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 ding. Oh yeah, ding 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 ding. It's uh And in Hector Salamanca. Yeah, Hector Hector. They get they convince Hector Salamanca yeah, that, that, I, I do. I do want to spoil anything for anybody. Well, fuck it. This is when Gus dies, man. Like, if you haven't seen the show by now, you should just watch it. Um, well, you're gonna see yeah. Gus again on Better Call Saul very yeah, soon. That's... The, the the death of Gus. That was like the the point where, in my mind, where um, where Walt just took, yes. he he decided. You know what? I'm done being second. I'm done with it. Yes. Uh, that, and, that was and, that point. And that's where his and uh, uh, Skyler's relationship really broke because she was scared that he would risk these people in this uh retirement home mm. um yeah so yeah. oh my god anyway. yeah that, this is a whole anyway other sorry episode. thanks for letting me talk we about that but lawyer up Breaking we'll be Bad. back in may <laughs> with my co-host rick foster which you should get on the show sometime hmm. once i get caught up um so we, we have one more thing to talk about and that's south by 
Oh yeah, that's a thing. Are you going to Austin in March? I'm I'm eighty nine percent sure I'm going. Awesome. Okay. Cool. That's so awesome. we want to have a live first ever public live episode of Ritual you Mystery. And we are we want we want to get as many people on the show as possible, so we're probably gonna do some sort of a game, some kind of like a like a rapid fire something like all right, Jackie, you're next. Okay That's um, awesome. Snowshoe, you're next. Okay, Chris Ronan, okay, Travis, okay, you know, whoever, just Everybody, you're, you're you're making a bunch of promises now that people that we can't catch. Now we haven't secured anybody definitely for the show. No, absolutely. <laughs> this is all hypothetical. But these are the sorts of things we want ideas. Like, what Guys, should that game dude, be? You know, you know, if I'm there, I will help out anyway. If you need catering, you need uh, someone to check people's names at the door. We need a venue. right now. We just need a place. Yeah, we just need a door. <laughs> Right now we just need a door. Step one is venue. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh right. But um, if anybody's got if, any if, suggestions, if anybody can do it, it's you guys, and I think you definitely should, um, because you know, as we all know, we all love Brian and Justin, um, and uh, but their their co- coordinating abilities with people <laughs> very last minute. I mean, I mean, right. see, I'm not even like I'm not even saying a bad thing. They know this. Um, and and they they love when people like us say this because it takes them off the hook a little bit more. Oh, right. <laughs> because it, it's no know, longer the dirty secret. Us. <laughs> so like whatever you guys like, but let's 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 push this. Let's let's get this and do a big, you know, diamond club thing because you guys are probably going to be the MCs of all of it. <laughs> Hey, so, we're, we're there. We're we're, we're gonna be there. We're gonna be there for a week. We're gonna be there for the entire uh, so wasted weekend. Mm. Um, that yeah, we're there for all of it. So like, bring it on. We're we're gonna do something. Excellent. So Jackie, um, where what do you have coming up next in your life of uh, of an online streamer and Diamond Club member? And where can people find more about you? Oh, well, I appreciate that. Uh, again, you know my Patreon, but the, whatever, we already went through that. But um, actually, I found out um, by following uh, the lovely Ashley Paramore that there's a new animation contest via Twitch for live streamer creative animation. So I'm going to be live streaming more on Twitch. Um, my just just my not my podcast, but just creating my project and yeah. Uh, I, I don't expect to win or whatever, but like again, any kind of publicity, anything I can just put together for a reel or something. Um, so you can find me there. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, that and expect a whole lot more sock puppets. I did one for John St- on John Stossel's last week. Just on the fly, like over the weekend, uh, because I thought, oh shoot, I started this Patreon. Now what am I going to do? So I went ahead and put a puppet video together, and I'm putting together another one of um, Captain Morgan, and I'm going back to old material. So this one might have to do with Captain Morgan banging Brian's mother with pots and pans. <laughs> so <laughs> that, and it'll be a little short video for the next night attack. So I'm going to do little short ones for Night Attack for a while, only out of respect to Night Attack, because they were my first sort of influence in getting into this. Right, uh, right. But I'm going to be doing stuff for My Favorite Murder, uh, more for the Doughboys, and I'd like to run some puppet ideas by you guys, so I could do a little Kent and Amos. That would be my favorite thing ever. Yay! I would be so happy about that. But I want to make sure it's something you approve, because because Brian Brian actually stopped talking to me. I believe he he won't tell you this, but I believe Brian stopped talking to me when I made him a pink puppet, because he what? he was pink. <laughs> you remember the whole thing about Brian being pink, like when his I, video was pink, and he's like, "I'm pink," and everyone's like, "Oh, you're yeah, pink, Brian." I don't so remember so being his a big first deal. sock puppet was Brian as a pink sock. <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> Wow, wow. Oh, wow. So I don't want to offend That's anybody great. ever again. That's fantastic. <laughs> Good luck. Anyway, well, my, fa- my to... favorite color is purple, so I don't know if you're going to offend I, me at yeah, all. Yeah, so. I almost want you to try to offend us, because I think it'll be more entertaining <laughs> no, for me. I, no. We, I... we, just, we just want you to make sock puppets of us. That's all I yes, can do. We, we, we want sock puppets. 
That is. Do you guys watch Syphil and Ollie? Have you? Are you familiar with Syphil and Ollie? The I've Liam seen Lynch. It. That's because they're they're like odd colored puppets. So we, mm-hmm. can, I mean, I could even do that too. But anyways, all right. But yes, thanks for asking. <laughs> yeah. Oh that's, shit. That's okay. <laughs> All right, so Kent, where can people find more about you, man? Yeah, check me out on Twitter. I am at rm underscore del noche. If you're a beer guy like me, go to untapped.com or get the Untapped app and follow me there. I'm del noche. Amos? At Ethan Kane on Twitter. That's it. Yeah. So you can uh, follow us individually there, or you can follow the show at Ritual Misery on Twitter. We always love customer feedback, customer feedback, listener feedback, whatever, whatever you consider yourself, consumer feedback, you know, whatever. We like feedback. Well, I'll be sending them in now. E- email Diamond us. Club. Oh. Well, that was a little what you, premature. What are you doing, Kent? What are you doing? Email us, <laughs> ritualmiserypodcast at gmail.com. Diamond Club hopes you email us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. We got to thank... Uh, Kevin McLeod for his music incomtech.com check him out uh, anyway guys thanks for listening <laughs> <laughs> bye Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> <laughs>